In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss the slope of budget lines, and this is part of a playlist on consumer theory, and you can find a link to the playlist below. A budget line looks like that. The black line is a budget line. Often you'll see the budget equation written like this. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transform the equation so it's written like this. And I'm going to walk you through that step by step, explaining what all these terms mean. Total income is equal to quantity of good X times the price of X plus the quantity of good Y consumed times the price of Y. M is going to be for income, and that's equal to the quantity of X times the price of X plus the quantity of Y times the price of Y. Now I'm going to show you how to take this equation and transform it to an equation where it's Y is equal to something. To do this, I'm going to solve for Y. I'm going to subtract from both sides of the equation negative XPX. On the left-hand side, I end up with M, or income, minus the quantity of X times the price of X. These items on the right-hand side right there, they cancel out. This is equal to the quantity of Y times the price of Y. Again, I'm going to isolate Y, or solve for Y. I multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over the price of Y. On the right-hand side, the price of Y cancels. On the left-hand side, I divide everything by the price of Y. So I have income minus the price of Y minus X times PX, so the quantity of X times the price of X divided by the price of Y. This is all equal to Y. Let me adjust this around. Often you'll see it written a little different where it's Y is equal to all of this. Let me adjust it so you see it written like that. This looks more like a traditional equation you see in algebra. The Y-intercept is the income minus the price of Y. The slope of the line is the ratio of the price of X to the price of Y. And it has a negative slope, so I'll move that negative sign over. I also know the slope of this line is also equal to the change in Y. And when I use change in, I use that little symbol there. It means delta or change in. This is going to be over the change in X. And since it's going down, I'm going to have a negative change in Y. So the slope of the line is also equal to negative change in Y divided by the change in X, or the old rise over run, so the slope also. And this is equal to the price of X divided by the price of Y, negative. In reality, these negative signs will cancel each other out, and so often you'll see in economics textbooks, those negative signs are not included. In subsequent videos, I'm going to show you that the slope of the indifference curve, let me draw an indifference curve in. The slope of the indifference curve is this dashed line anywhere along the indifference curve. And the consumer will optimize their consumption at that point there, where the slope of the indifference curve is equal to these other slopes. This should help you understand how to get the slope of a budget line. As always, share the knowledge, share the love. Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Questions and comments are always welcome and encouraged. And don't forget to subscribe and give us some love on Facebook.